What's the word, Tiff? That's right. Right at the end of the damn song. <laughs> That's how it work out, dog. That's how it works out. That's how it works out. Yeah, man. What's going on, everybody? What's going on, everybody? Says midweek vibe. I am your boy Covey, and that is Draper Winston. What's going on, everybody? What's going on? Uh, now today is going to be a little different. Today is going to be a little different. There's a lot going on <laughs> on so many levels. On so, so many levels. So we're gonna pull a we're gonna pull a page out of out of power out of uh, all the other goddamn shows, <laughs> and we're gonna break it up. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna break it. We're gonna break it up. We're gonna break it up a little bit. So you're gonna have part one today, <laughs> and then you're gonna have part two this weekend. Yeah, it's we on some real power shit. <laughs> oh my god, For real. We on some Mama. real power. Some real power, power shit going on. I'm on my, I'm on my Tyreek shit today. <laughs> <laughs> of all people to pick, it would be him. Of all, you would be of all on, people, like, you would hate the fuck out of me. You would pick Tyreek. <laughs> You're like, jeez. <laughs> Look, it seems like Tyreek. Listen, it seems like everybody. It seems like everybody along the way was just like, hey, fuck Ghost. I hate the fuck out of Tyreek. I can whoop Tyreek. All this Tyreek. shit. <laughs> nobody, nobody liked Tyreek. Nobody. 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 Nobody liked Tyreek at all throughout. Hell, really, throughout all six seasons, nobody liked Tyreek. Well, not take no. I say, I say after season one, they really started hating him. Oh yeah. You know, see, you know, season season one, he was cool. He was cool. Yeah. You know, he was the, a little kid, man. He was just a little kid. <laughs> You know, doing a little kid thing, you punking his little sister Raina. Yeah. You know, at season two, Kane came back. <laughs> Man, when Tariq got in the game, acting like he was, you know, he was like a little mini ghost or whatever, Casper or whatever. Man, yeah. that's everybody was like, Man, I ain't fooling with Tariq, man. They everybody man, was dealing with Tariq at that point. Yeah. Listen, but speak speaking of speaking of Tyreek, uh power, power book. <laughs> Woo! Now, it's coming back. Coming back in September. It is. Now listen, I haven't seen the trailer for it, but I have. but it looks it looks good. I'm excited, but I based upon the cast and everybody that I've seen that's in it, man, I think it's gonna be good. I think it's actually gonna be one of the one of the few spinoffs that that actually wins, that actually yeah. will do well. You know, it ain't been many spinoffs that's done well, but I think this one's going to actually do well. Because, I mean, it's still, it's, still a play, it's still a play off of all of them, actually. All of them, yeah. You know, because I, I, wouldn't, be, I wouldn't be surprised if Ghost is a ghost. <laughs> See? Okay. <laughs> See? Yeah. Yeah, I, I knew... Yeah. I knew if anybody was gonna be thinking that it was gonna be my brother. I was thinking the yes. same thing. I was like, they not just gonna write this dude totally out. No, they can't. Six years. Listen, ghost is gonna be a ghost. <laughs> they might they might pull nah, Angela's done. Um I mean look, Tommy 
Tommy is going to have, like, maybe a guest appearance in this one. Of course. You know. And, of course, you know, Tyreek like, Tyre and Tasha. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. That's... So, but no, the trailer. The trailer started out. Trailer started out with, in a nutshell, Tasha in jail and being, you know, she her being grilled. And, mm -hmm. You know, them saying like, "Yo, how did you know that Ghost was there by himself?" And then you know, the DA basically saying the black lady. The DA basically saying like, you they know, it it's another. It has to. It had to be somebody else there. And mm -hmm. then she brings up. She brings up Tyree. Ain't no Tasha. Tasha can't hold water. Oh, Tasha. Tasha face. Tasha facial expression. Her, like she went from she went from this. She went from this to. <laughs> and, the, and the DA sitting there like, "Gotcha, bitch." <laughs> you talking about nobody liking Tasha, man? When I heard so many when Power was out, man, there were so many women that turned on Tasha. I was like, y'all have revolted against Tasha. Like at first, y'all was mad at her, and then y'all revolted whole, against her. My whole thing, my whole thing was, my whole thing was, there's no fucking way that you can defend her. I don't, like, why y'all pissed off at Ghost? Why y'all pissed off? All this shit is because of Tasha. All of it. Was because of Tasha. <laughs> the reason, listen, the reason why he was in all that fucking trouble, Ghost was trying to get out the game. Tasha didn't see him nothing but, but as a as a drug dealer. Interject, interject, A. Hey, she only sees me like this. I'm trying to change. Here come Angela. <laughs> Here come Angela looking right in a red dress. All right. Now, then she goes, Tasha goes, Tasha goes and fucks like, fucks my, my nephew. She fucks my nephew. Like, whole, rela whole relationship, whole relationship with my nephew. And then she, look, and then she fucks my lawyer. And then she goes on <laughs> and fucks everybody else in the goddamn cast besides Ghost. I mean, well, besides Ghost and Tommy. She had more than one entanglement. More than one. <laughs> entanglement. She, was, she was entangled before entanglement was a thing. If entanglement was a person, <laughs> it would be Tasha. Entanglement <laughs> with entanglement <laughs> with August. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I couldn't wait on this shit to drop, matter of fact. Oh, <laughs> uh, look, you look okay. <laughs> so, at first, I didn't know what way they were going to go with that when they dropped that remix. <laughs> but when it started here with the entanglement with Arcus, it yeah. I was like, you know what? Why did, look, why, did, why did he be killing Challenge Gabito Beetle like that with the... With the <laughs> they they always go to him. He be the first one. <laughs> Childish Gambino. <laughs> every time, every time they get him. Oh my if god! Like, if it's like if he ain't in it, man, the, the remix ain't right. Cause I gotta see, I gotta see them shoulders come. I gotta at see some point. Come. At some point, you gotta hear that, and you gotta hear past the remix come. <laughs> <laughs> Both of them. That's all you got to hear. <laughs> oh my God, man! But look, look, like we told, like we told people, today is gonna be this week is gonna be a little different because there's so different. much going on. A lot. So we 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 got a couple we got a couple of things we're gonna hit. Pause. Pause. Couple, <laughs> couple Pause. Of things we're gonna get. Couple of things we're gonna get to, and then we'll we'll post it. But we'll do the second half of entanglement. Of entanglement on Saturday, yes. So on we're Saturday, do two parts, two parts. Yeah, will be today. I'll be this week. Uh, we'll do the first part today, and then we'll come back this weekend, and we'll do part two, um, and then we'll be back to our regularly scheduled program uh, next week. All right. So, man, let's you ready let's, to jump into it? Let's go. Look, let's let's go and get to the what the, what the fuck moment. All right. So. <laughs> The what the fuck moment of the week, all right? And this one was one of the one of the most what the fuck moments I have ever seen, okay? So if everybody if everybody knows about the Black Lives Matter that has been <laughs> um, uh, painted, it was painted in yellow uh, oh in God. D.C., all right? It was painted yellow yeah. across the street, all right? It was painted Black Lives Matter, all right? 
Well, some patriarch, <laughs> patriotic person felt like they needed to cover it up, right? They felt like they needed to cover it up. So there's a couple of what the fuck moments that drop in this, in this whole scenario. Number one, when they covered it up, right? They covered it up in black paint. Um, and so <laughs> I was like, all right, fine. You know, and of course, when you scroll through the comments, you're like, fine, make it even blacker. Black lives matter even more, right? <clears throat> this one was the one that got me, though. This one was the one that got me. If you're really, truly against Black Lives Matter, you know, you want to deface it, right? Make it look bad, right? This motherfucker was coloring and painting inside the lines. <laughs> Yo. She was inside the lines. Man, she was painting it. She was throwing black paint down and then painting right inside the lines. I was like, oh. She's yo, the job. When, <laughs> yo, when I when I saw when I saw that when I saw that, two things, two things stood out. Two things stood out. One, it well, let's take it back. Even before, even before the video started, I knew it had to be somebody of the mayonnaise persuasion. Absolutely, I knew it had to be. I knew it had to be. <laughs> two, two, you're painting. Oh, you're painting Black Lives Matter in black. In black. In black. Okay. In black. We love that shit. Even better. We love. We love black. But third, what it told me is she was a fucking overachiever in school. God damn oh. it. Because you, you look, you, defacing it, you throw paint, you're supposed to make it sloppy. Make it you're sloppy. painting nice, nice and neat. Yeah. Within, matter of fact, and she oh. looked, and she had she had the long she had the long ass uh brush too. She had oh the, yes, sir. Oh, it was now listen, <laughs> and, hey, bro, and it wasn't like she was like hurrying. She was no, like, no, no. <laughs> you know, hold on. You know, she was, hold on. You know what she was? You know what she was doing? Mop, mop. mop. <laughs> <laughs> she was mop, mop, mop. mop. She was mopping it, and and, it, and and she was mopping it slowly. To make sure that like she was still in the lines and whatnot. Yo. I was like, you're doing I was like, you keep it up. You are doing a phenomenal <laughs> job. Keep it And going. then look, keep coming. And then when the and then when the people and then when the people like then when the people like, What we're, we're gonna take your paint. She was like, Well, honey, we'll just get another one. Go <laughs> we'll just get another one. <laughs> <laughs> so So you're gonna pay you're gonna pay with this whole goddamn street, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and it was oh, just God. her. And see, this is what made me laugh even more. She's out there doing all the work, just just mopping and just painting along. And her husband is just sitting on the side. <laughs> yeah. White lives matter. Yeah. All White lives matter. To all lives matter. My wife is going to continue to keep coloring inside these lines right here. That's what said. You left. Look, you left Wingus. God damn it. You left Wingus. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on, look, hold on. Then he, then he went to Corona. Coronavirus is coronavirus is a hoax. It ain't real. It ain't real. <laughs> all right. I, all right, okay. bro. All right. Okay. That's cool. All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> now I applaud oh. the little baby girl that was out there. The little baby girl and uh, her dude that was out there trying to stop the lady from doing it. You know, but. Me, had it been me, had I been the little Mexican chick, I, me and my petty self, I would have said, thank you. Thank you. But hey, to make yeah. it look better, you know, skip every letter. Skip a letter, you know? <laughs> really, if you're going to make it nice, really black, make it nice. Jack black and up. yellow, black and yellow, black, black and, and yellow. yellow. Yeah, make it nice, <laughs> you know? Yo, look, and my petty ass would have been around, my petty ass would have been around like, look at this shit. Look at this. Look at this dumb ass. Look at this, <laughs> <laughs> look at this dumb ass. <laughs> <laughs> because wouldn't you think, right? Wouldn't you think if you felt like, right? Oh my God! Uh, black lives didn't matter. If you felt like all lives matter, why would you go get black paint for one? So you thought about <laughs> it. You went to the store. Okay. Yeah. You went to the store. Okay. You stood in line. No, my back. Back up. You went to the store. You went to the paint section. 
You said, baby, we're gonna we're gonna color this thing. Yeah, baby, oh. grab the black. <laughs> Let's Hold make on. the black stronger. You grab two <laughs> cans of black paint. You walk down to where it's painted Black <laughs> Lives Matter. You stand in front of it, right? You drive in your car. You still got black paint going on, right? Hello. You pull out the black paint, and then you spray the black paint all over the damn Hold Black on. Lives Matter. And then Hold you on, color in the lines with the <laughs> Black Lives Matter. <laughs> well, look, what our market, our market manager said, what is that? Look, <laughs> I would have been like, fuck yeah. <laughs> 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 hey, we would have to jack, keep her going. Yo, Gas her up. Hold on. The thing, the, the thing about it, think about it, is when you were saying the shit, the all the stuff they were going through, I could just picture the husband. I could just be, yeah, that'll show that show their black asses. Show their black asses. <laughs> get the black paint, baby. Get the blackest paint that you can get, baby. Let's show their asses. Show them. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh my I would've god. Been, I would have been like our marketing man. I would have been like, text, listen, yeah, Sharon, Karen, show them, Karen. Show them. Show them. Fuck, look. What, look. What the song look? Fuck them. Fuck, Fuck them, girl. <laughs> Fuck them, <laughs> <'em>, girl. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. oh, man. Yeah, dog. I couldn't believe it. When I saw it, when I saw it, man, I said, I said, this has got to be, and I had to watch the video a couple times to make sure that I was not, my eyes weren't deceiving me because when I was watching the video, man, I got, I understood where she was going, right? I got it. Yeah. But then when she was coloring in the lines and she was making it look nice, like, I was like, thank you. Karen, <laughs> thank you. Like, I, I like, thank you. Makes it look, makes it look better from the aerial view. Look. From the aerial yeah. view. You know what? I apologize, people. I did not do SAT words last week. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have, every week, you gotta have our SAT word. You gotta have it. But look, listen, listen, no, no. Because, look, I switched. We went to toss words. With the toss. <laughs> so, the toss. First, First toss word of today, aerial. Aerial. <laughs> so she's making it look better from the aerial view. That's that's what I'm saying. <laughs> so I'm like, so everybody now, everybody could clearly see the yellow, right? Oh my god! But let somebody who did not see that story unfold, and they're flying across, and they look down. They was like, heck yeah, that's symbolic. Black lives matter <laughs> in black. Uh, and let's let's just say this. Let's just say this to me. To me. Dallas is the only city that really got it right. The coloring that Dallas used is the African flag. That's dope. That's Kenyan dope. flag, whichever one you want to choose. That's Red, dope. black, and green. That's the only look. Those are the colors. Everybody else, yellow. What are, are we yielding? You. Are we yielding all of? Are we yield? <laughs> all yields. All yields all matter. Yield? All yields matter, or. Slow down on what matters. <laughs> Nigga, what's your aerial code? <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. What's your aerial code? Your aerial code. Wow. Oh, man. The speaking, speaking of talks, SAT, yeah. ACT, which some, never mind. I was about to say some, some of y'all still need to pass. But, <laughs> okay. So, uh, the idiot in chief just came out and said that uh, schools need to reopen. Correct. That you know, little kids, little kids can't get, or their 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 rate of getting the coronavirus is very low. Correct. And then his uh, his chief of education, Miss I'm gonna call him Miss Dumbass because Miss the whatever Miss the yeah her. Yeah. her. Yeah, her. Then she backdoors it and says that, you know, they need to open up the schools mm -hmm. and let kids go to school. And if 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 the if the schools don't open back up, 
She said that their funding needs to be taken away mm -hmm. and given to the parents. <clears throat> so the, now, what the fuck the parent? I'm sorry. <laughs> what the hell the parents gonna do? You gonna get funding? You gonna get? You gonna get these grants? These mi millions of dollar grants? Correct. To the parents. Correct. That that is what she said. Now, the thing is, what I've learned about um, the Vogue dumbass, all right, is <laughs> <laughs> is that she's <laughs> she is for the that that's going to be her name from now on. We're gonna have to, you know, the Vogue dumbass. So what what I've learned is is that she Bill is Bill the Vogue dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> See, Yo. see, trying to make a damn point. Here he go. All right, so, <laughs> so we got to focus. We're trying to be serious at this point, sort of. <laughs> sort of. We're never oh, really too serious. Never, you can't take it like, too serious. We never are. We're never really serious. But All right, so, let's go. Right, so DeVoe, right, the whole thing with her is that she's she is for the private, private school sector. And yeah. so... Um, what she wants to do is what I believe is she's trying to do is she's trying to defund the public sector so that they can't get the funding. So therefore, it's where they're almost forced to go to uh, private school. So, yeah. um, you know, I've had this discussion with with my wife, you know, you and I are public school kids, you know, both of us went to public schools. Um, I think there's nothing wrong with private schools. I think for certain situations, private schools help. But I think for the world, my humble opinion, I think for the best overall view of what the world looks like and what the world is, man, I think the public education is, is what what is what what helps with kids transitioning into what the world is, you know? Yeah, because I, I will say I will say now I, I've, I've taught in a, a, a few private and uh, charter schools. Mm -hmm. Um, and I will, I will, I will say, <laughs> and and they're different, man. They're they're different. Very. The thought process, the 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 fight of the kid um, is a little different. The ambitions of the kid has is a little different from a private school kid, from what I've seen, um, based upon other kids. Now, I'm just speaking from my own observations and what I've seen. Some people may have a different observation or whatnot of, you know, pub public school versus private. I don't say that there's anything wrong with private school. Not at all. I'm mm -hmm. not saying that. But what I'm saying is, I think for where the majority of people are, for the best success of their kid, I think for an overall, overall well-rounded kid, man, I think public school is a great place to harbor that. And so with her sending, wanting to send kids back to school, I, I don't think, for one, she made a point. She said, we send kids back to school, it'll be 0.02% of children that'll die, right? Now, I had a problem with that because when you look at the numbers, 0.02% of what she was saying in, ended up being between 12,000 to 14,000 kids, okay? So go a, fur a step further, that's 12,000 to 14,000 families that now have to deal with one of their kids passing. And I don't think that that should be a factor in determining kids going back to school. It should, your goal should be 0.0% .0 of kids passing away before talking about sending kids back to school. Now, when she said it, I mean, I, I was halfway listening because I'm like, it's, I mean... It's gonna be some bullshit coming out of her mouth anyway. Absolutely, be especially because how like you have no background in education. Correct. You never went. To, you never went to college. Correct. You never. I mean, you never did any of this. So how like how could you know? But but second of all, me being in the you know physical education mm -hmm. uh, sector, I would come across literally like eight hundred kids a day. Mm hmm. And the kids today. Now she says. Now she says that kids, you know, are, are, are you know not too you know susceptible to you know to get the virus. This and the other. But the 
people who teach the kids are. Correct. The people who in administration are. Correct. The security, everybody else. So if I am a, you know, PE teacher, arts, look, arts major, mm -hmm. band, whatever, and I look, and I'm asymptomatic. Mm -hmm. That means that means I'm high fiving, side hugging. Correct. You know, all the like eight hundred over eight hundred kids a day. Correct. <clears throat> So you sit up. You sit up and trying to tell me. Sit up and trying to tell me that I'm not. I'm not going to affect not one of those goddamn kids. Correct. And let, then think about wrong. it from this point, right? Think about it from 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 this point. You're you're absolutely correct by everything that you said. But think and also think about it from this standpoint, right? Let's say in the, you got those 800 kids, right? For one, for one, they say in, a lot of the regulations are we don't want to gather in large large groups. Correct. They say one of the regulations is we don't want to gather in large groups. Now, let's think of the size of just an elementary school. You could possibly have anywhere from two to 500 little kids, okay? Two to 500 little kids, right? So that's just the students. Then you add on top of that another 100 for faculty. That's 600. Add another 50 to 75 to 100 of other faculty, janitors, cooks, all that, principals and all that, that's 800 people just right there. Add another add another 75 kids that come at 8 o'clock and leave by 9.30. And leave by 9.30. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> right? And so then you almost have to double or triple those numbers when you start talking about high schools. You got high schools that have 800 to up Man. to 3,500 kids. Just Man. students. My look, my high school, Duncanville U. Shout out, shout out to Duncanville U. Uh, five thousand students. Five, look, yeah, five thousand. Five thousand. We damn, we damn. They had a thousand in our graduating class alone. They, see, exactly. So see, I know we had, we had six, we had six seventy five or something like that in mind, and we had thirty four. We had thirty four hundred. We had thirty four hundred kids at Bowie. So those numbers, you got five thousand at one school. You got 3,000 at another school. Now, mind you, Bowie and Duncanville, we just taking our two schools. Bowie and Duncanville ain't but about 10 minutes away, if that. You're right. You're right. It ain't but about 10 minutes. So if you're thinking about that short of, a, uh, of an a area, right, right there alone, that's 8,000 just kids. Listen, let's, let, let's, put, let's just put it in, the, you know, in a big perspective. So you got Duncanville right here. Correct. You got Grand Prairie. Yep. South Grand Prairie. Yep. Um you got all you got all the you got all the Arlington schools right there, like all within 10, 15 yep. minutes of each other. Then if we go look, if we go this way, you got DeSoto, yep. you got Cedar Hill, yep. you got Lancaster, you got hold on, you got Kimball, yep. you got Carter, like all these are right there. Right all of them right there. there. Right. So you think about just the that's that's we've we've named probably five cities, right, that are literally borders away from each other. Yeah. And in those five cities, okay, you got, so like Tech say, Mansfield has five schools. Arlington Damn. has Arlington has five schools. Grand Prairie has two. You got Dunk you got Duncanville. You got uh Cedar Hill DeSoto in the triangle. Right next door to Duncanville, you got Irving, right? Yes. So you got Irving that has two schools that are probably you know, 2,500 or more worth of students. So if you just combine that right there, right, you upward of 100,000 kids, okay, or very and damn that, near close to it. Hold on, think think about that. We just mentioned high schools. That's it. <laughs> Duncanville, look, Dun Duncanville has Duncanville has three or four junior highs. Yes. Now, you got through, well, three junior highs. DeSoto has two or three junior highs. Yep. Not that Arlington has, uh, you know, countless ones, you know, yep. Cedar Hill, all yep. that. So, you know, and then see, like Cedar Hill, Cedar Hill has a couple of charter schools there. Yeah, yeah. Arlington does too. You know, Grand Prairie Duncanville. has a couple of charter schools. Yes, yeah, they do. So, you know, I, and the, the thing of the matter is, and there's been a lot of um, teachers that have been questioning, um, just questioning the decisions of the governing bodies. You know, the governing bodies, one of the governing bodies is TEA, the Texas <laughs> Education Agency, right? So the TEA, Texas Glad Education Agency, up. right? 
they said that it's you know you can you can get back in school underneath these guidelines but however the TEA is doing all of these decision makings virtually so you're telling I was me <laughs> right? I was just about to bring that up you telling me that I got to go back as a teacher I have to go back to class to school but yet you get to make these decisions virtually like that doesn't yeah. make any sense to me no sense at all no sense at all. You want me to go back in the lion's den mm -hmm. while you stand outside the cage. That, exactly. Exactly. You know, we, we all know how, how COVID-19 has been affecting people and how, um, how easily it is to get it, how you know, people are carriers and whatnot. And so you're saying, for one, okay, and let's, let's, I, I want to take it to the teachers briefly. We, there's already enough on teachers, period. Okay. Yeah. As far as being underpaid and doing all of this work. All right. And now you're asking teachers to not only be teachers, you're asking teachers now to be nurses, to be doctors, to be other things that they've already had to be and adding that on top of what they already have to do without any extra pay. And you know what? I, look, I'm glad you said pay. You know what the first thing? Like the teacher gonna say the first week, I don't get paid enough for this bullshit. I don't get paid enough. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get paid enough for this bullshit. I don't understand how teachers are going, uh, going to lecture with exactly. Exactly. Look, for one, for one, in a classroom of now, there's supposed to be for every, for every twenty five to thirty students, supposed to be one teacher. Correct. In the gym. In a gym, it's supposed to be one PE teacher to 80 kids. Think about that. 80 kids. And I've been in a situation where we look where we co-taught in the gym, and it was literally, it was literally, literally down to three, three, four hundred kids in the gym at, at, at one time. Mm. Literally. So it's supposed to be 25 to 30. Now, it's already hard enough keeping attention of 25 to 30 kids in the Correct. classroom. You got those that want to act out. You got those that are asleep. Those Correct. that got problems at home. So they mind is it. Now you want me to talk with this damn mask mm. over my face. And not, you know, only, not only you talk with that mask, but now you got to manage and make sure that all your students keep a mask on their face. And 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 make sure that they're not touching anything. They're sanitizing. Yeah. They're doing this, doing that. That's that's a lot, you know, and then so now you add in add in the factors of substitutes. Okay. <laughs> add in the factor of a substitute teacher, right? Substitute got a substitute got a quarantine two weeks before they come into the school. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> you know? So and, and there's already a short shortage of substitute <laughs> teachers as is. So now oh my God. you saying that, you know, substitute teachers got a quarantine, like that's that's it, it. That is unheard of. Now you talking about a for real shortage? Oh, it's gonna be some empty classrooms in that, Jack. You know. I need that. I need that hazard. I need that hazard pay for it. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> like no, see, like, but but I mean, but that's real, you know, because and I like I'll say I'll say this in the gym with all, like with all the all the damn kids, mm -hmm. I've had to go in the bathroom with my kindergartners. And I look, hey, hey, it's a graphic. Well, who gives a fuck? I had, look, I had a kid, I had Lord. a kid shit, on the, I had a kid shit on himself. And that look, that scene out of Daddy Daycare, <laughs> where Eddie Murphy, Eddie Murphy goes in the bathroom, <laughs> and you see his face go. <laughs> I promise you, it was shit. It was shit all in the stall, bro. It was shit in the sink and on the goddamn mirrors. <laughs> I went out there. I was like, how the fuck did he get shit on the goddamn mirrors on the top? And I, look, he, I guess he looked, he, he was like a painter. He was just, just throwing shit just <laughs> up against. Oh. But we got to deal, look, we got to deal with all of that. Correct. Now, on top of that, you trying to tell me, trying to tell me, look, these little kids who pick their goddamn boogers and putting them on people, you know, smearing on the floor. And touching, like touching their body and passing cootie. Look, second, second SAT word. No, it's toss. Toss. We're on the not toss. even toss. 
it's not even it's not even toss. Not even toss. I'm gonna call this a recess word. Call this a recess word. <laughs> recess. So you got these kids passing cooties around. The the cooties. <laughs> <laughs> the cooties. Passing the cooties. You know, and another hold on, another aspect, another aspect. So a lot of the a lot of the grades in elementary, mm -hmm. they have recess. They have recess. Correct. Correct. A lot of a lot of the junior highs and high schools go to, you know, the like the college method or block scheduling, this and the Correct. other. So are they gonna stick with one teacher for the entire day? Okay. You know, so, are they changing are they changing classes? So what they've been saying is one of the things that they've been saying is that they're gonna they're trying they wanna implement a couple of things. One of them, especially for the high schools and the middle schools, they want to keep all the kids in the same class and then have the kids eat <laughs> one of the options and then have the kids eat in the classroom. So I'm like, okay, now we're gonna drive the kids crazy with that option, right? <laughs> then the second option, then the second option. Hold on, hold on. Before before you get to option number two, you and I know good goddamn well. Them kids are not gonna stay in the same goddamn class for eight fucking hours. <laughs> Hell no. But but the thing Yo. is though, right, but think <laughs> about it like this. This is this is what I thought about, right? Not only will the kids go crazy, but how are you gonna teach that? If you're a math teacher, how are you gonna <laughs> teach them science when it's their science time? If they gotta move to if they gotta be taught English, how are they gonna learn English if you're a science Yo. teacher? Like hey, if you, you know, them all in the same class, who's moving? Hey, as soon as that bell, as soon as that bell ring, as soon as that bell ring, you start look, start signs. I'm a mad teacher. You know what I do? Look, hey, watch this. <laughs> hey, hey, don't talk, don't talk to me for the rest of the fucking day. Talk to me for the rest. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. If, I, <laughs> if I had access, I would roll in that big old TV with the VCR. Roll that big TV <laughs> in with the VCR and pop that motor oh and had the straps yeah. on it. That's what I was uh -huh. doing. Hey, y'all watch this tape. <laughs> there you go. Don't, right there. don't ask me. Don't ask me shit. Don't ask me shit. If you got a mad look, if you got a mad question, we can talk. <laughs> Other than that, <laughs> no. But I wanna ask, I wanna ask, I wanna ask, you know, everybody that's in here right now. Because, you know, I was listen I was listening to the Breakfast Club earlier today. And DJ Envy said that he's not like his, you know he's not letting his kids go back to school this year. And I've right. heard a couple I've heard a couple of people say that that they're gonna you know they're gonna get you know tutors or they're gonna homeschool their kids. So I'm gonna right. ask everybody that's in here right now, like what if, you know if you have kids, what are you gonna do? Are you like are you sending your kids back to school? Are you homeschooling them? Like or if the schools have the option that they're gonna do you know still do online? Yeah. So as the as the responses start to come in, I'm going to tell you because I have kids, and so yeah. what what we've determined is for our younger kids, our younger kids, we're going to homeschool them. My in law, uh, my mother in law, she just, she was like, "Hey, I'm not sending my grandkids back. I want to. Uh, how do I? How can I help? I don't think it's safe for them to be back. You know, I have a six year old, a seven year old, and a three year old, and." You know, at those times, that's when they're the nastiest. My three-year-old is nasty as hell, <laughs> and so you know, I mean, they they just they just nasty. They're just natural. And he's a boy, you know, so he want to touch shit, and you know, he just Dig it. just digging in it. Yeah, digging in his What's his daddy? What's this? What's this know, daddy? I take him to the. I take him to use the bathroom. You know, he use the bathroom, just sprint out. I'm like, nah, little dude, come wash your hands, man. Come back in here. You know, so it's just that. You know, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, with with the little boys, with the little boys in the bathroom, you gotta look, you gotta pull that, you gotta pull that method. They come out the bathroom. Did you wash your hands? Yeah. Let me smell between your fingers. Let me smell. <laughs> Let me see, hey, my little boy, my little boy, fuck around and touch my face, and I'm like, hey, boy. <laughs> hey, I just want to smell your face. Just, I, <laughs> you know. And okay, so, Kelly. Kelly said hers going back to school. So and so this is and so this is also the. The well, this is maybe an SAT word. This is also the conundrum that we're dealing with, right? Oh yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's, that's SAT. SAT word. That's up there. So the conundrum that we're also dealing with is the athletes, the athletes that are in high school. Oh my god! Okay? So there, a lot of school, a lot of school districts have offered going uh, virtually or going in person, right? Well, 
according to um, in Texas, there's some laws that say that if you're not in school, then you can't, you know, play uh, athletically, right? So I think they're trying to amend that in some sort of way. Um, but it's mm. um, it's 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 tough. <laughs> a senior <laughs> right answer. I haven't become a senior plays football, and so he'll probably do split home and school days. So they're allowing him green profuse. So they're allowing him to to do both. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, that is that is. Look, listen, listen. As much as much as much as they don't want to admit it, high school to well to me, some like some of them, some mm -hmm. of them. High school is just is just like a lot of these colleges. Absolutely. If they look, if they if they don't look, if they don't if they don't have to, they're not going to miss out. On that, correct. Because I can look, I can brag here for a second. That new look, that Sandra Meadows Arena at at Douglasville High School mm -hmm. with Phil McNeely Court is the work that we put in. Yeah, for a, a three, four, five year span, going to you know going to state this and the other, that money goes back to the school. Correct. It pays for that. So these top programs and the other, if listen. If look, if, hey, if you can, if you can homeschool or whatever, and just be here for practice, or you can do like they, like they're gonna right. do it. They're gonna bend these rules. Right. They're, like they're not gonna miss these band programs that go to you know these competitions every year. Yeah. You know the act like here we go, here we go. Since we're since we're on that on that road, academia. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, nice. <laughs> yeah. So the act, like so the academia side that they, they they're like they're not gonna they're not gonna deprive. Now I will say. I will say, uh, because you know Sykes, I don't know if he's still on here. I think he mentioned earlier, you know, uh, his daughter. His daughter's on the volleyball squad. Yeah, and I believe, I believe that I believe that Duncanville might have canceled the volleyball season for this year. Mm -hmm. I believe. Don't look. I, uh, I hope he's still on here. He can attest to it or say something about it. But I think that's I think that's what's happened so far. So I don't know. So what I've seen, what I've seen as far as that in athletics, um, I've heard Houston ISD, Fort Bend, and um, Houston ISD, Fort Bend, and Austin. Uh oh, they're he also is. He starting. Is. Okay, um, so Green per Green Perfume said. Two options. I'm not. Uh, I'm not mistaken. He already around the student. Blah blah blah. Cedar Hill is giving two options. Um, Nico said. Uh, so at my school, they're like they're doing half and half, virtual and in school, and she's at a high school. Um, I think. I think that's about it right now. What uh, What people are saying. You with me? GP, are you with me? See, he's still going. But yeah, continue to chime in. I want to know, like, are you letting are you letting your kids go back to school, actually inside the school, or will you, you know, let them go virtually from home, or will you homeschool them all together? You take them out and homeschool them all together. We're doing both virtual and in and in person uh, in Arlington. Okay, so how? Okay. So have they said anything? Have they said anything about have they said anything about how like how you guys are gonna manage like the sports aspect of it? You know, for those like it are there still are there stipulations for those who are, you know, going virtual compared to, you know, you having to be at the school? Let me see. College college students, yes. Elementary probably not. Yeah, no, nah, elementary no. I I mean even a even a college one is tricky, uh, shells because I hate to say it, but you know, as I mean, we've seen through this, and it's not a surprise. Grown ups are nasty as shit too. We have athletics in the beginning, but at the end of the day, okay. So they okay. So I get it. So they can come. They can come two practice in the morning, and then come two practice in the morning, and then they can you know go back home. 
I literally have no clue what the hell happened. <laughs> <laughs> I literally have no clue what the fuck happened. But <laughs> here we are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So what you like what you miss, you know, stuff still coming in. I asked Kelly because I know that she like she is a coach too. So I asked her like how how is that dynamic working, you know, at her school? And she said that well they have, you know, practice in the morning, practice in, you know, in the afternoons. So the kids that are virtual they can come to, like come to practice and then go back home. Correct. But my like my thing my thing is with all that if look if you're an athlete and you are coming to practice and you're playing your sport, you might as well be at school. Yeah. Because there's because there, there's no there's no difference in you know okay so basketball football volleyball you're coming like you're coming in you know close prox S A T word proximity nice. Mm-hmm. You're coming in close. You're coming in, in, into close proximity with like with your teammates anyway. Correct. You know you're Correct. sweating and, and you're sweating and everything else. So, <sighs> I mean, and, and, and you know, and you run into this as a, I think as a parent. I was talking to another teacher about it. If you know one of the students decides to choose online, do they have? And they're an athlete. Do they have the transportation to be able to get? You know to to practice or to their athletic peer or whatever like that. You know, I mean, that's a decision that parents have to make that, you know, some, you know, you got some kids that have, you know, that have asthma. You have some kids that have different mm-hmm. types of, you know, just Agreed. breathing issues and stuff like that, you know, and, and listen, just going to target wearing a mask in Texas heat is hard to do. Just going to the store and wearing a mask in Texas he was hard to do. So trying to require these kids to run and all that, man, now you 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 adding things to that to to what more they gotta they gotta manage. Dude, I had I had this conversation uh yesterday. I commented on, you know, somebody's post yesterday and was talking about how hot it was mm-hmm. and you know the like the mask and you know she was asking like are people still wearing the mask? She was like she sees some people not and this and the other. And start talking about the heat, and I was like, "Listen, I'm so tired. Look, I'm so tired of this fucking mask." As soon, as soon as I get, as soon as I get back in my truck, I throw this shit, uh, you know, in the in the passenger seat. Oh, Quick. real talk. We're passing her. I don't understand how people are now. I mean, sometimes I do take look. As soon as I leave the store, whatever, I like look like I'm like, like, like I'm a, like I'm a quarterback. Like I'm a quarterback coming out the game and shit. Like I'm. Just... <laughs> <laughs> I feel that way every time, man. I was, I was laughing about that the other day. I took my damn, what you call it off? I was like, damn, coach took me out. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Look, fuck. <laughs> yeah. But it's no, not, but... and it's not helping um, at all that the the cases and the numbers are spiking. You know, like like Kelly said, there was a chart. Right. There's a chart that I saw and it was, you know, you you close schools down when the numbers were like this. Right. Yeah. Like you're expecting teachers to go back to schools and the numbers are like this, you know, and that's anybody with common sense. You look at you like, OK, that doesn't make sense. You know, why would you send teachers back and the numbers are where they are, which I don't understand. How else? I'm gonna look. I'm gonna put this plainly, and we're like we're gonna dedicate, we're gonna dedicate an episode pretty soon to this. But um, how else? How else is the government gonna launder all that money? Mm. Mm. <laughs> within within the within the budget within the budget, and we can go we can go through many levels of this within the budget. They have like they they have to disperse a certain amount. Correct. For education. Correct. Same way, same way within your schools. There's supposed to be a certain amount of money dispersed for uh <laughs> after school programs. Correct. For uh supplies, materials. Yep. And a lot of look, and a lot of y'all ain't seen no goddamn supplies or materials since y'all started working at them goddamn schools. Yeah. And, you know, so I've also seen this. 
where they said that once they get the numbers of how many kids are going to go virtually, how many kids are going to go in person, then that will help with staffing, right? And hiring or whatever of teachers. And so when I saw that, I thought, I was like, well, wait a minute. How are you going, how is that going to happen? Because if you have, say, let's say you have a class of 30. Let's say you have a class of 30. Half of those kids decide to go virtually. The other half decides to go in person, right? So first of all, as a teacher, do you create two lessons? Do you create the one online or do you just create a blanket one and let everybody do it, right? Look, look, but how excuse, does that happen? Excuse, excuse, excuse my language in this, but there's a lot of teachers that's going to think like this this year. Fuck the kids. Fuck the God kids. damn it. <laughs> Fuck the kids. <laughs> They look. They all look. They all gonna get the same. They all gonna get the same goddamn lesson plan. <laughs> 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 you, vir you virtual you're in the goddamn classroom. But like I said, don't like don't be surprised. And this is like this is the scary part that I that I want people to pay attention to. This is the scary part because if they're waiting on the numbers, if they're waiting on the numbers to see who's going virtual and who's actually coming to com coming to the school, and they've already talked about cutting. Some of the staff, your kid is going to be in a goddamn classroom with a with with the uppers of forty, maybe fifty students. Yep. They would, I, have, to, I they hate would have to 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 change that. They would have to change the dynamic of that because if it doesn't make sense, right? It doesn't make sense to to have one teacher for fifteen for fifteen kids. Okay, it, it, it for for an English class or something like that, right? Like, I think the number 30 is too big. I think it should be 25, but it should be, it should be 25, should be the cap. But um, I, I personally think, man, and it's, it's very difficult to say this, but I think it's true. I think they need to continue to stop. I, mean, they need, I think they need to stop worrying so much about, oh, the kids are going to fall behind, the kids are going to fall behind. I don't think that should be the issue at this point. The issue at this point should be about how many lives can we save? How many lives, how many kids can we, can we keep? How many lives can we save? Because if we think about it like this, a lot of these kids, especially when we get to high school, they're self-educating themselves. Exactly, look, exactly, Kelly. Look, Kelly said, my kids, my kids are all doing virtual, but go, but playing AAU. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Hey, my kid, look, my kids will go virtual and I'll play like I'm putting their ass overseas, guys. That's what I, I'm just I'm just saying, man. I honestly for real. Yo. I think the option needs to be everything needs to go virtual. Because and I also think about it like this. If colleges and if we can go get our master degrees, if we can go get a doctorate degree online, right? You can go get certain certifications online that can get you a hundred thousand dollar job. If you can put those certifications online. There's nothing wrong with letting these kids go online virtually, at least until all these numbers start to go down. Listen, and this is look, this will be my last statement on this, and I'll turn it over to you because the hour is dwindling down. Yeah. But parents, look on the bright side. Look on the bright side. Your kid will not fail this year. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Your kid will be passing with flying colors to the next grade. <laughs> so for those of you who were worried about your kid, who is not who is not the most studious. <laughs> uh, he or she will be passed <laughs> with flying <laughs> 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 I'm telling you, that's, oh. that's that's how it is, man. That's how it is. Oh, I think, man. You know, as we finish, we finish up. Um, I think every school district needs to take in consideration and these governing bodies. And I don't know if it'll happen or not, but they need to take into consideration if their own child was in a public school. Okay, <laughs> my son's GPA went all the way. Up. Hey, Green Profi, <laughs> listen. My oldest, my, my oldest son called me. I said, man, how you, how you doing? He was like, oh, man, shoot, I got all A's. I said, what? You got all A's? I see you, boy. You better get it. He said, man, I've been having time to do my work, daddy. I said, all right. 
<laughs> oh shit! All right, before before we get out, real quick, do you have the the black owned biz business yes. of the week? Yes, I do. We got two black owned businesses of the week, and we're gonna do some online apparel um, today. We got Blazo Blazer Apparel, all right, which is out of uh, Atlanta, Georgia. Go to their website, uh, Blazer Apparel. I'll put it in the comment section here in a minute. And then um, we got Lord Apparel out of Atlanta as well. Um, and both of them, you can go online and you can get them. Uh, Lord Apparel has like some really, um, it's called Living Our Ridiculous Dreams. And they have some dope hoodies. I actually have one myself. Um, some dope hoodies, some dope t-shirts and stuff like that. And then uh, Blazer Apparel has uh, Trust the Process and whatnot like that. So listen. Um, Y'all check them Shoot out, it. go to their websites and um get them get some 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 of their merch. All right, listen, and I'm look, I'm just gonna put this, I'm just gonna put this very simple and plain. The album of the week. Albums that dropped. Albums that dropped. Now obviously I can tell I can say I can go pop smoke. I can go a couple other people, but the I'm gonna go with a throwback. Album? What? Hold on, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with a throwback. I'm gonna go with a throwback. You ready for this? Dude, I need to hear this. And I was like, I was like, I was surprised as shit to see this on my like on my sites on my list. Avant dropped a new album. <laughs> what? Yes, Avant. Avant. Dropped an album? Avant. Man, now man, Avant used to drop some bangers, man. Avant used yeah. to drop some bangers. He, yes, and and he has a couple of them on on this album. Avant, man. Avant, Avant. Listen, I will post. I will. I will post the album on Midweek Vibe and on my like and on my personal page or whatever. Of yes, Avant. It's like 10, 10 12 joints. What? I, see, okay. See, now I'm gonna have to go and actually <laughs> and actually kind of check that out, man. Because man, I man, I was a jam of Avant when Avant dropped separated and. He dropped that song with uh, Kiki Wide and whatnot. Yeah, I was like, all right. that. Mm hmm. I'm with it. Listen, listen. Hey, I will say, look, if you if you love because Avant has his own lane. He does. He has his own lane. He does. So if you I'll, and I'll say this: if you like Avant, if you like what he does, then go cop the album yeah. because he does like because he does what he does. He does what he does. That's, the, that's one thing you can say. The, he does what he does. He does. All right, really does. So, so look, you know, within 25 seconds, listen, like we telling everybody, this is part one. There's a lot going on, so we have a lot of meetings and this and the other to get to. But part two, we'll post it. We'll be this Saturday. You don't want to miss Ent part two. Entanglement, part it's, two. You don't want to miss it. <laughs> we will be entangled on part two. Don't miss yes. part two this weekend. All right. We'll see see y'all